From the neck up, man is great. From the neck down, other machines can outperform him by a country mile. It appears that a system that combines the best features of man with the best features of other machines will add to the success of man as a machine. Such man-machine chimeras he calls teleoperators. Simply a teleoperator is a mechanical double to man that goes through motions that can be experienced by its human twin. The only difference is that the teleoperator, a type of remote control robot, actually goes through those motions while the human operator functions in a safe, comfortable environment. 1980s, automated autos, noiseless pneumatic subways, and luxury liner hovercraft will have radically restructured our surface mobility. 1985, the suburbs. You get up at 9.30, enjoy a leisurely breakfast from your computerized kitchen, and read the morning paper, which feeds out of a teleprinter attached to your phone. In the headlines this morning, you notice that the AMA says it's no longer necessary to carry recyclable bottled air in the central city. 1985. The earliest intercity gravity capsules, which could become a reality in as few as six to eight years, will carry passengers from midtown Manhattan to midtown Washington, with 12 intermediate stops in 75 minutes, and from New York City to Boston in 73 minutes. It will operate in the following manner. Visualize a train in an underground tube, accessible by escalators, surrounded by air at normal atmospheric pressure. Once passengers have boarded and the train is ready to roll, an air valve at the end of the station, valve A, and one at the beginning of the next station, valve B, are closed. Air is then pumped out until the pressure is only about 1 40th of normal atmospheric conditions. Valve A is opened and the train is pushed by atmospheric pressure into the near vacuum ahead. And when the desired amount of pneumatic air pressure energy has been imparted to the train, a computer will automatically shut valve A. Traveling along a downward slope, the train will continue to accelerate until just before the next station, it will 
reach an upward grade, slowing it down. It will be slowed down further when air pressure from valve B ahead exceeds the pressure from behind. 1985. 1985.